And now it's time to save some money. Whenever you see that animation, it means you're about to save a whole lot of money, or at least a little bit. It's the Daytime Super Savers Club. Now, the club is a group of daytime viewers looking to save on everything from grocery shopping to shopping in general with the help of Liza Ford from the website Addicted to Saving. We're going to teach you the tips and tricks on keeping a little extra coin in your pocket. So get ready to join the club. Well, welcome to this Daytime Super Savers Club. I'm here to hopefully help you all spend less money each week at the grocery and the drugstores available to you. And so my first question would be, how much on average do you typically spend? For a family of four, about 119 a week. I spend about 110 a week. Okay. I have a family of five, so I spend $225 a week. Okay. I have a family of three and I spend around 80 to 90 dollars a week. Well hopefully these tips that I'm about to give you will really help you dwindle your out-of-pocket spending each week. I have some interesting coupon facts for you. For this year from January through June, 1.75 billion dollars worth of coupons were redeemed. But there were actually over 167 billion dollars worth of coupons provided by the manufacturers. So there's quite a bit of coupons that we can still use before the manufacturers start getting concerned about losing a lot of money. So in order to get started saving money big time at the grocery store, you want to start gathering coupons. And the first place to find your coupons each week would be in your Sunday newspaper. Um, there are four different types of coupon inserts you may find each week. And so basically, when you buy your paper, buy at least two papers, so that way you have at least two sets of each coupon insert. The second place to find coupons would be in something as simple as your store's sales flyer. Look at the sales flyer. If there's coupons, cut them out. You can take them into the store and save good money on that. And as you're shopping, look for Blinkies and Peelies and Tear Pads. Those are great ways to gather coupons to add to your coupon stash. And then beyond that, online, there's hundreds of printable coupons that you can print out each week on coupons.com, smartsource.com, redplum.com. So there are four types of shoppers that shop the grocery stores and drug stores. The first one is a last minute shopper. That's someone who runs into the store, runs out, doesn't pay attention to what they're spending or saving. You're laughing, so that tells me that's what you are. <laughs> the second is a sales shopper. That's someone who focuses on the sales that are in the weekly ad and buys them. Um, and then the third is a casual couponer. That's someone who gets the paper on Sundays, cuts out three coupons, and then uses those coupons when they shop and feel they're proud of themselves for saving a dollar. And then the last is an addicted couponer. That's someone who's shopping based on what's on sale and the coupons that they have available to match with the sales items. So my question for you all, what type of a shopper are you? I would say I am a sales shopper. I'm without a doubt a last minute <laughs> shopper. Okay. I would say that I'm a sales shopper, though I'd like to be an addicted couponer. I'd say I'm more sales and try to use coupons when I can. Well hopefully as we get going we'll work towards getting you towards the addicted couponer side. So when you're getting ready to go grocery shopping, there's some very simple tips that if you use these tips, you can save very easily. So the first tip would be make sure you're using a grocery list. You always need to write a grocery list. And beyond writing a list, make the list based on what's on sale and the coupons that you have available to go with the sales items. Beyond that, if your store has buy one, get one free sales, Find out if your store will accept two coupons on the buy one, get one free sale. Most will, and if that's the case, you're very easily going to save well over 50%. It's important that you find out your store's competitor coupon policy. Most stores accept certain competitors and their coupons. So find out if your store accepts competitor coupons, and if so, what stores they accept. You can then use those coupons on the sales items or the regularly priced items at your store, and then often you can even use a manufacturer coupon along with the competitor coupon on one item. So thank you so much for coming to the Super Savers Club. I hope that I've been able to give you some tips to utilize next time you go shopping. And to the viewers at home and to everyone here in the club, Next time you go grocery shopping, I want you to bring a grocery list and I want you to make your grocery list based on what's on sale and then the coupons that you have available. Keep track of your savings and hopefully we'll see each week that your savings are increasing.
tips for saving lots of money. And stay tuned for upcoming daytime Super Savers Club meetings in the coming month. We also have to mention that club member Melissa Larson was pregnant when we first taped the meeting. Now, she has since become a proud mama to Liam Anderson Larson. There they are. He was seven pounds, seven ounces, and 19 and a half inches long when he was born. Congratulations to Melissa and her entire family.